Good morning, good morning everybody and welcome to this end of the sunrise safari. We've got hyenas, vultures and uh, well that's all. Sitting at a carcass that was here yesterday, it was an enormous carcass of a wildebeest, the same carcass that we were at with the Angama pride. Hello, it's nice to see you. My name is James Hendry. Very good. And Craig is on camera today. Hello, Craig. Yes, very nice to have you with me. Uh, we came into this area in the hopes of finding the Angamar Pride. We might be lucky with them. There are wildebeest sort of massing behind us. What I'm going to do is drive around this bush, and then you will be able to see the hyenas and the wildebeest together. Taylor, before she returned home at midnight last night, said she saw some lions around here. So that's why we've come into this area. Where have the hyenas gone? There were hundreds of them. Oh, there they go. They're all just booking off across the plains there. Chasing each other. One of them's carrying a leg. They look to me like they're a bit nervous of being cuffed, perhaps by the lions. No, they're just playing chase the leg game. It's a fun game, that, isn't it, Craig? Chase the leg. I think it looks like great fun. Wildebeers don't care that one of their cousin's legs are being used as a plaything by the hyenas. Well, certainly they don't look like they care. And the interesting thing about that, of course, is that they have no facial expressions in the same way that uh, Impala don't, and nor do, uh, what else? Pretty much all the antelope, something like an elephant, for example, and so you cannot ever see their displeasure. And somebody said to me the other day, well, it just looks like that wildebeest is pretty chilled as it's being dragged under the water by the crocodile. And you can rest assured that none of these wildebeest are feeling very chilled at all at this time of the year, and that the one being dragged under the water by the crocodile was simply unable to show its displeasure on its face. I mean, we're so used to, as human beings, uh, to, so used to reading each other's feelings from the sort of facial expressions we have that we kind of expect it of other animals, but only us, only we have that musculature in our faces. Now remember, hashtag Safari Live, you can ask us any questions you like, you can send us any comments you like. You can also use the YouTube chat stream if you would so like. Either will work just as well, it just depends on which one the second director happens to be looking at at the time. And just behind there, you can see the bushes where that hyena is. It's often where the Angama pride put their cubs. But we've driven past there, and I don't think that they are over there. So we're going to head off up on towards the escarpment, see what we can find that side while we do that. I believe Scott has got something else that is very much dead.